located right next to the entrance to the greatest dirt track in all of the world is Max Pappas. Max is really cool to see. You are a regular part of the Knoxville Nationals every year. Why does someone of your international motorsports infamy come to the Knoxville Nationals, mate? I discovered Knoxville National about uh, eight years ago. Uh, came over to support and learn learn more about dirt racing with Donny Schaaf. Yep. And uh, I discovered something that uh, if I knew about this before, I would have definitely maybe have done a different path in my career because uh, dirt racing, you know, four tens, uh, sprint cars are something uh, unreal, and that definitely reminds me a lot of my champ car IndyCar days. Absolutely, I was just going to say that. And of course. Mario Andretti and those kind of people, AJ Foyt, etc. They were. That's where they cut their teeth. I mean, you, you definitely. I definitely understand why they started on that path, because uh, car control, uh, being able to improvise, uh, you know, and do things uh, at high rate of speed with super powerful car. I don't think there is any better, you know. There is no better learning thing. Absolutely. Um, these are gorgeous wheels. What? How did you get into making steering wheels? It's a pretty simple story. Uh, I was uh, involved in NASCAR in uh, around 2009, and uh, I, I wrecked in Kentucky. I broke my wrist. You know, we learned that were, they were using a very old, antiquated steering wheel, very stiff. Yep. So put some thinking on it, developed a wheel uh, that deform under impact. Started, you know, using it with uh, Dale Jr., Jeff Gordon, Jimmy Johnson, and Hendrick Motorsport, yep. obviously with me. And then PI took off from there, you know, uh, came over to the dirt racing uh, uh, board with Donny Schatz. You know, he's been the, the sole person that really guided the, the, the beginning of MPI in dirt racing. And, uh, you know, we've done, we use the same philosophy, you know, work with the best in the business, learn how to mm -hmm. make a better product, a safer product, yep. and a product that can make you faster, and then uh, lower down your labor so that you can that you can build the wheel for this max uh, when i was 15. yep you know and uh, so yep. you can cater all the people in the garages and uh, it doesn't matter if you're a five-year-old kid who start in quarter midget or if you're jimmy johnson or scott dixon you deserve the same level of uh, trust and uh, quality and that's kind of how we do with mpi the knoxville nationals um how do you feel about that and how does it compare to other forms of motorsport and big marquee events that you've been to? I mean, for people that have not been here at Knoxville, they need to understand that this is absolutely the temple of dirt racing. Uh, when you walk in these premises, at least for me, I have the same feel that when I walk in Indianapolis, uh, when I walk in Daytona, Le Mans, uh, Monaco. Wow. You know that Knoxville National it's an event that is definitely bigger than any racer. Yep. And it's going to be here after you and was going to be here before you. Yes. So it's one of those events that is bigger than uh, than any race car driver, than any team. And uh, I can only imagine what it means uh, uh, for a dirt guy to win it. You know, it's, uh, you, you are in the temple of the sport. And, uh, and uh, putting your name on that trophy, uh, it's... It's like putting your name on the trophy of the Daytona 500 or the Daytona 24 hours.